Hello and welcome back to the Tremendous Tullies. So, we have the Trident. We are in this weird oligarchic, um, noble oligarchy thing where apparently we're the only person allowed to vote, as far as I can see. Oh, well, there we go, literally. We're the only person allowed to vote. We can vote for whoever we like, but we're also the only person. So if we wanted this random person to be next in charge, he could be. But you know who's going to be? My brother. Um, wait, my brother? My son? That, that definitely said brother, didn't it? Oh, I could switch it to my brother. No, it's going to be my son. He's going to be the next one in charge. He's uh, going to do a very good job at it. Uh, and we're going to get Litterdell into our lands as well, which is fantastic. Um, in terms of other stuff that we can do right now, well, obviously, we want to start pressuring for the Iron Throne. It's going to be difficult. Oh, who's he married? He married a Lannister. Okay. Hmm. So how are we going to do it? Well, we would need to get people in these factions with us, right? Obviously. We don't need elective. We also can't make factions at this time due to some promises we made our liege, which... Uh, it doesn't actually say anything about that anywhere, but okay. Um, doesn't say when that ends. What we want to do is we want to try and get favours from people. Why does this guy dislike me? Title claimant. Oh, onto my title of everyone? Yeah, okay. How much is a favour? 250. It's not that bad. How much is a favour with you? Is it 250 with all of them? 425. Okay, our cousin is the cheapest so far. With you? 250. The Reach? That is 250. Dorn? Well, you know, another 425. Okay. And then 250? Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering, is that because he's Prince of so something, and then he's... There's still Lord Paramount, I don't know. And then the Iron Islands, if he wants to get a uh, favour with them, that's 250. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff that we could do. Um, ideal people for the war. We're looking at a uh, Reach Stormlander Veil kind of thing going on, although the Reach is a shadow of its former self right now. But if we could get Reach, Westland, Stormlanders, and Vale, it doesn't really matter what Dorne and the North do, because we control the land directly next to our liege. So there's potential there. After that, I'm not entirely sure where we go with things, but yeah, we'll see. What we can also do is we can potentially just get claims here and start expanding out the Trine into some of these Crown Lands and take away all of the Crown Lands if we can. That seems like not a bad idea, so I'm going to try getting a claim there. Flame chance is 19% chance per year. Isn't too bad. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it for what we need to do right now, this very second. So, let's unpause the game and earn some money. At maximum speed. You have a new heir, Lord Edmund of the Trident. I'm just absolutely shocked. Wait a second. Oh, other people are allowed to vote now. Okay. Well, I still get six votes, nobody else does, but that's interesting. It's 20 versus 20. That's uh, closer than I would like. You would like me to be your High Admiral. I mean, I guess I have nine votes now, so... I accept. I am now Lord of the Trident, Master of the... Master of Ships of the Iron Throne, which is cool. You would like us to, jo to join your plot to kill King Jamie the Bloody. I accept. How many people are in your plot? Just me and you, huh? Uh, I'm out, I'm out. I'd like to stop back in this plot, please. Uh, wait, does this not work? Stop back in plot. We're st All right, well, I'm in the plot forever. Um, I do not want to watch this tourney. I have better things to do than watch jousting. Exactly. Participate, I'd be happy. My mother died. Oh, and that got me, by looks of it, quite a lot of money. Or a reasonable amount of money. You got a claim on the Lordship of Mossborough. Alright, well. Cool. Um, I, you did it so quickly I can't reassign you. Okay. That's fine. Riverrun uh, is reinforcing quicker now. Uh, we should go back into positive money soon, and then I can start uh, fabricating the next claim, I guess. That was really quick. Like, insanely quick. Okay. Uh, invite to plot. To kill the King of the Westlands. 
Mr. Lord Paramount Rolf Harlow. Uh, no, that's okay. I don't need to kill him. I didn't need to kill the king either. I'd like to not join the kill the king. I, my prince, a new bank has been established in Ashai. Hi, Councillor Limmer Adrahasis of Ashai has used his wealth to found the Bank of Ashai. He has built a grand new bank building in the city to house vaults of coin. This new bank is now ready to issue loans to interested parties. Alright. I'd like to not be in this plot. That's a no then, huh? Alright, well we're in the plot forever. Thought I'd try again. No heir of our dynasty? Raymond? No, 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 no. No, we can't be, we can't be having people voting for Raymond. Uh, also, why would that end my game? That makes no sense for why that would end, end my game. Because that's not the way it, it should work. Not all titles should have the same, have the same succession law. Except that they do, apparently. Okay. What should happen in a normal elective game is you don't lose all your titles, you lose the ones that are in your primary duchy. Oh, but I guess if we lose the High Lordship of Harren- uh, of Riverrun- Sorry, I, I don't know why I said Harren Hall. We lose the High Lordship of Riverrun that is our only duchy? Oh, I said Harren Hall because I saw it here. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Essentially, uh, that sucks a lot. Like, a serious amount of suck there. Okay, um... What can I do? Well, I want people to vote for me. Your candidate. I trust the judgement of a ruler I like. Good stewardship, good- he's too young. He's a pious man, he's a prestigious man, he is a claimant to the title. He's the guy I overthrew. Request that gets excommunicated? The High Septum likes Raymond. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. Just checking with favors. Nope, that won't work. I was thinking if I got a favor, could I do something there? Invite this guy to my court. Nope. Um, plot to kill. Nope. Hope we live! <laughs> oh, out of the uh, frying pan, uh, into the fryer. Okay. Well, hate that. My subject was beheaded, apparently. Okay. Well, I could, in theory, change one of these laws. If I had prestige of 2000, I could become a monarch. Yeah. Could do. Um, yeah, why is my score really low with him? It, I don't know, it's just low, what? Why is it so high with others? Is my relative. Why do you get a vote? Wait a second. Why does my master of arms get a vote? I'm gonna replace you. With a loyalist, hopefully. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're voting against my son. You're not allowed anymore. Master Benefer will take your vote. Did that change the votes at all? Master Benefer would like to support this random person. Okay. Thank you, Master Benefer. I appreciate it. I'm not going to go jousting. Um, Rhonda Merriweather uh, just failed to hatch an egg. Okay. See, who else is voting? Like, who else on my council? Lady Liza? She should be voting with us. Uh, of course, there's no way of actually using this list. My wife gets a... My wife isn't voting for my son. Oh, he's now got- he's passed his prime. <laughs> My wife gets a vote, and she's not voting for our son. This is... Why do we get like zero for him? I do not trust the judgement of a ruler I dislike. Okay. So if I made people like me more, then maybe we could do something there? 
Everyone likes me at a very high amount, except for that Lord of Blackwood. Okay. Wants control of the Lordship of Blackwood Vale. I mean, okay. Uh, Kyle? I'm sorry. You're, it's for the greater good. Council votes yes. Okay. He doesn't hate me as much anymore. A gift I will give you. Right, let's see how we're looking here with uh, Lord Theo. We're up at 40. Still not great, but we're getting there. The older our son gets, the more chance we've got. He's not, our son isn't pious or prestigious right now. Um, yeah, this still isn't great. Is there anything I can do? Form an alliance with my son. Uh, sure. Our son also isn't in our realm, which kind of sucks. Let's do that first. Just change character to our son. Just peace out. Just go, no, actually, I want to be my son now. Not the worst idea I've ever had. Um, I could give him the wonders of Made by Man, the book. I'm going to do it. And I just, the reason is it gives him monthly prestige. So it will actually increase his prestige. Yeah, okay. So now you can give him more monthly prestige if he reads the book, which he is not doing currently. Wonderful. Love it. Um, great. My acquaintance Lord Paramount Rob uh, tried to have Lord Belthasar Nori of Pineseed arrested but failed to apprehend him. But then he turned himself in anyway. Okay. Um, we need a new commander. That's going to be Lothar. No heir of our dynasty, we lose titles on succession. How long have we ruled for? One year. We need to rule for another 14 of those. Um, we can righteously imprison Lord Hendry of Butterwell. Is Lord Hendry of Butterwell voting with me or against me? Would people prefer to vote for Brad? No, probably not. Uh, Lord Henry of Butterwell. Uh, Butterwell? No, he's not supporting my candidate. Well, what did you do? Why can I righteously imprison? No, it's Lord Henry of Butterwell. That's a different. It's Wold. It's not the guy. His name is Butterwell. It's the guy. His name is Wold. Lord Henry. Um, I could also, in theory, get rid of some of these, couldn't I? By changing who's in charge? Wait, is my maester voting? Yeah, he's voting on my side, that's fine. Cousin Liza is voting on our side. Let's try and find this guy, he's in the list somewhere, I'm sure. We have too many vassals. Lord Hendry is not voting with me. He is too young, he says. Well, oh, he's excommunicated, of course. Well, I can imprison you. Yes. He's raised his flag in rebellion. Okay. Uh, we can ask the Sir Edmund to join us, but I'm not going to. Request liege intervention? No. Gonna merge up our troops in Riverrun and be ready for the war. I'm surprised they're actually doing the war. Okay. Has that made votes go up or down? It appears to have gone up. Okay. War is good for business. Request council support. You will owe me a favor. I accept. Okay. You have changed the laws in uh, High Lord of Blackwood. I like how um, after listening to advice of a group of my uh, Vannerman, as he's wounded, it makes it seem like they just found him, beat him up, and said, you better change these laws. Okay. Merge up. Make sure we have leaders. We'll have Lothar. We'll have Owen. And we'll have Jared. We'll go and attack him. We need a new spy master. Could be Theo. Um... It's going to be Jared, and I'm going to replace Jared on there with uh, Jonathan. 
And then that also means I need to replace Jared on here with... How about Harris? And that actually means that Harris can lead on this side. And okay, we're good. We don't really need to worry that much. We have 32,000 troops. It was a straight win no matter what happened. Lord Merrin of Sharp Point is joined uh, the other side. Well, that seems like a foolish move on his part. Gonna split my army in half, send one half round to catch him. Lothar. Right. He stopped in Good Rock, uh, or in Goodbrook. Uh, Brad has come out of hiding. Fantastic. Everyone's very happy about that. Won another one. Head to Butterwell. My liege, I believe one of your vassals can be dis uh, can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. Uh, do nothing. Hmm. Yeah, do nothing for just now. Sieging both of these fairly quickly. This one's about to be done. And we've taken it. Nice. Victory. Offer peace and force demands. We have imprisoned that guy. Uh, disband. Right. Character owes us a favor. We can't do anything with that just yet, but you know, he owes us a favor. Um, so now we finish that war. Ooh, we've got some more on our side. We've, things have got a little bit questionable. It must be as he, the two youngs have started falling off. He is a heathen, says this guy. Drowned God's follower. Okay, well, who's he voting for? Himself. Well, you know, actually that's fine. Split the vote. Can I revoke the title off the guy I just got? I would like to revoke your titles. Since he is a traitor, our vassals will not object. Yes. I'd also like to revoke this one. Thank you. I would now like to banish you to the Night's Watch. Appreciate your service, uh, good man. Right, so now that means that I can give away this land to another one of my... Um, like, to a member of my family who does not yet have land. And we'll see what we can do with that. Um, do we have a cousin? I'm basically looking for a relative. Um, how about this line? Nope, they became Lannisters. That line is dead. We only have 14 living members. Uh, I would like to find... Go to weigh childless women. Yeah, only men. Unlighted characters that have no children. Dead characters that have no children. Only alive. Go. Wait, uh, that didn't seem to work. Okay, maybe. Um, oh no, that one, yeah, it filtered it. Okay, I see. Maybe. No, not ha- <laughs> Splits into two houses? Okay, um... Perwin is my nephew, so that is a cousin, I guess. Perwin? I was wanting to grant you, grant you some titles if you wanted. Uh, where are you? Like, you're commander of the Vale? Oh, right, yeah. Come, come. Oh, he doesn't want to join me. Oh, right, yes. Oh, it's Kingdom of the Vale. That guy just looks very similar to me, which is why I got confused. Right. Um. Okay. Well, if I can't give it to family member, who am I going to give it to? I, I guess somebody who I think is going to vote with me. Owen Rivers, I guess, could vote with me. Yeah, I'm going to grant you the Castle of Shoreham. Nice. Let's see how he votes. Well, he's probably not voted yet. And then we're going to give... Well, what's the High Lord... What's in this High Lordship of Butterwell? We give that to Lord Elmar. Make him stronger. How's Lord Elmar currently voting? Lord Elmar... Lord Elmar uh, of Butterwell. Oh, we already saw him earlier. <laughs> um, Lord Elmar. 
Let's try to find him here. Kyle, Guy, wait. Was Elmer right there at the bottom? Benifer, Justin, Theo, Lucas, Sander, Elmar. Spelt differently. No, spelt the same. Oh, I actually don't want that one. I want, yeah, is it him? Yeah, okay. Um, interesting, because his thing that's... Whatever. I hope that's the right Lord Elmer. No, it's a different Lord Elmar. Okay, good. Lord Elmar of Butterwell, he's called Rollingford. Okay. Lord Elmar Rollingford. Uh, where is he? Does he get a vote right now? Emmon, Brynden, Alara, Ronald, Liza. He currently does not get a vote. Okay. Interesting. I wonder why he doesn't get a vote. Uh, maybe it's only direct vassals, but then it seems like we have too many on the list. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I was wondering whether to give it to him or this. Why do you dislike me? You desire the High Lordship and you're ambitious. And I have elector titles held. Oh, is that because right now my vote counts for more? Oh, uh, okay. Anyway. Um, I'm going to grant you the High Lordship of Butterwell. And let's see how he feels. He absolutely thinks I am the greatest thing ever. Great. That also weakened Harren Hall slightly, which is cool. And that means the High Lordship of Butterwell should now be correct as well. Perfect. Right. We need a new commander. Um, who could always, he could be Lord Elmar. I want to see how these votings go. How it changes. It changed slightly in favor of Lord Edmund. Okay. So all of what we did there got Lord Edmund slightly in favor. Lord Guy would vote for our side if our candidate was older. How old is he right now? Our son is 28. What do you mean he is too young? I mean, he's a, maybe 30 is the age it, it says is all right. I don't know. It's getting dicey. It's getting dicey. Okay. What? What? When's our son's birthday? The tenth of the seventh. Okay. So, yeah, about four months he gets another birthday. I want to see. Maybe it's thirty. Okay. Um, Lord Jared, my spy master, wants a reward. Here's a reward, Jared. Enjoy it. We still have a claim on Mossborough, and we could press it. My only problem with pressing the claim on Mossborough is that it gets us another person who doesn't like, uh, doesn't like Jostin. 41. It's happening. It's happening. We're, we're slowly turning the uh, electorate to our side. Okay. It's fine. So wait, supporting vote is 13, opposing vote is 26, yet yeah, it's very close. Well, you know, that's what happens when we have six of the votes, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's going up and down. We need a few more. Lord Florin of the Fl Freylands is voting against us. Wait, Lord... F oh. Lord Florin of the Freylands? Wait, that's not you then. This guy's voting against us. Oh, that's more acceptable. Why is Lord Florin, with all these votes, voting against us? Uh, Lord Florin. Oh, he's the top. Um, he has passed his prime, but is good diplomacy. He has a claim to the title. I like him. I don't like that. We could try killing this guy. It wouldn't work. Could send him a gift. Let's see if he likes my candidate more now. He does, definitely. But what if I also gave him... I can't give him an honorary title because he's not underneath me. Damn. So anyone else who's close? You're close, Sir Ga uh, Lord Guy. You like me as much as you could ever like me. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for anybody who's like on the edge of voting for my guy. Like my wife. What's, what's up, wife? Do you like to be a... N <laughs> Just be like, hey, you're now a knight. Are you going to vote with me? No. 
Why do you... Okay. I, I, I don't get it. That's fine. Uh, anyone else? Could send my wife a gift at some point. That might help. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Lord, Lord Derriman of Turnbridge. We give him an honorary title as, I don't know, Master of the Horse. Or oh, he already liked me at 100. Okay. Anyone who's at 75, I think, already likes me at 100, unfortunately. Negative 1,050. Yeah, okay, there's a lot who don't like him because he's too young, but a lot just like the other guy, unfortunately. I really wish I could just get rid of him. Fortunately, the, um, yeah, the High Septon likes him. Is there anything I can do here? I can't antagonize him because he already hates me at 100. Hmm. Do I have a reason to imprison? No, he's not even in my court. He's somewhere else. Yeah, he's, he's over here in uh, the Stormlands. That's horrible. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.